Hey guys, it's Taylor, and today I'm going to be talking about my tongue piercing. Um, yeah, this is my idea of a personal video to try to branch off of the animal videos so much. I feel like there's so much more to my life I'd love to share with you guys. So, I'm going to be talking about my tongue piercing and everything about it in case one of my viewers wanted to get theirs done. If anyone is coming new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you want to know like what a tongue piercing is like, I'm basically going to cover all the basics of a tongue piercing and my story, blah, 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 blah. So, um, first I'm going to tell the story on how I got my tongue piercing. If you don't want to hear me talk about this, then I'll just tell you what time to go to so you don't have to listen to me yet. But I'm just going to tell you like a brief story of how this happened. Okay, so I've been wanting a tongue piercing for a few months after I did my own cartilage because I did pierce this, pierce this myself because my dad was always like, you don't, you have enough holes in your body, you don't need to put any more. But you know me, I'm just like, you know, being a rebellious teenager, thinking I can do what I want. Me and Mia, I'm gonna rat her out, decided to pierce our own cartilages, so that's what we did. And after that, I was just on a basically piercing spree. <laughs> like, I wanted everything pierced. Not everything, but I wanted my nose, I wanted my tongue. So one day, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get my tongue pierced. So I posted on my Snapchat, and I said, hey, does anyone know um, a piercer that will pierce for minors? And basically, you can't get your tongue pierced at a shop if you are under 18 because they won't let you. Or you need parents' uh, permission. So if any of you are watching this and you are under 18, Please don't get your tongue pierced without your parents knowing, but I'll get into all that once I tell you what my parents thought of my tongue piercing. So, me and my friend, once I found out who could pierce it, I, you know, I contacted the piercer, said, hey, can I get my tongue pierced? And she said, sure, just come over. So, I basically went to her house with my friend, and I got my tongue pierced. And after that, that was basically it. Like, that's basically the story. There's nothing special. But after that, I went to go get ice cream, and that's not a good idea because my tongue piercing just got caught on the ice cream. It was a mess. It was a big mouth. I was scared. My tongue didn't bleed, though. Okay, so first, I'm going to start with the little questions that some people may ask. So, why did you get your tongue pierced? Um, I got my tongue pierced just because I liked the way it looked, and like I said, I was on a piercing spree. So, really, any type of piercing, like, looked nice to me. And it was kind of, like, trendy, so I saw people online with it. And then just, like, when people are talking, my friend um, at my work... He had his tongue pierced, and every time he talked, I could see his tongue piercing, and I was like, I was thinking about it, like, wow, like, that really looks nice. Like, just, like, looking at people talk with the tongue piercing on, I feel like, whoa, like, they're some type of cool, like, I don't know. It was just, when did I get it? I got it September 6th, I think. Um, I'm still 17, so, of course, I'm too young to get one without my parents' permission, but I did it against my parents, which isn't a good idea, so I suggest none of you do that. Like, ask your parents first, I'm sure... I mean, I mean, my parents wouldn't have let me, but maybe your parents will. And if they don't, wait till you're 18, because it's just better off. You won't have to hear them. When my parents found out, well, my dad found out. He said he knew months before. I don't think so. But we were about to go to a fair, and we were in Dunkin' Donuts, and he was like, stick out your tongue. So I stuck out my tongue, and he was like, stop piercing everything. Like, who pierced it? Blah, blah, blah. And I was just like... And then my mom, I keep telling her it's a magnet, but it's not a magnet. But she's gonna watch this video and know it's not. <laughs> but she's not, she's not stupid, so she knows it's not a magnet. But my parents weren't happy. They didn't like punish me or anything. They were just like, you know, don't do that. Like, you don't even, you need to go somewhere and get it done. My mom's so for like going to the doctors and getting the stuff done. So obviously, my parents were not happy at all. Did it hurt? That when I got it pierced it hurt like when she was piercing it it hurt but afterwards it didn't hurt at all like some people say the pain lasts for three days mine didn't even last a day it lasted when I tried eating like before I tried eating it was fine I was just chewing on ice like that's the best you can do for a tongue piercing you can just eat ice you know slurpees anything cold because I remember I had Starbucks that day too so I was just living life and they say don't eat solid, solid foods for three days, so I didn't really do that much either. I didn't really eat for those three days that much. I mean, I had like soup and stuff, but smoothies. I think I had to eat solid foods because I eat so much, so I definitely did eat solid foods. But um, basic cleaning is just like you get your toothbrush and you or you rinse out with oh yeah that's another thing when I first got my tongue piercing she told me to rinse out a lot with mouthwash like after every meal so that's basically what I do so let's cover the pros of tongue piercings the first pro is it's cool looking so like I don't know maybe it is to some people but I don't know I just think like hey hey obviously it's not cool if you're at a job interview but you 
switch it up, put like a tongue colored one in there. Cause that's what I asked the piercer. I said, what's the closest to my tongue color? And she gave me like a purple one. But um, it is cool looking, well I think it is. This is like opinionated. A second pro I have is it gives you something to do. So like during class, or, like wherever I'm at, I could just sit here and go like this. I guess if you're bored, or if you need something to do, or, you, or like I'm always like moving around, so I need to constantly be moving. Like I need to be tapping my foot on something. So this really helps, cause I'm just in class like, like just messing with my tongue ring. Another pro would be that you can hide it. So unlike any other piercing, like you can't hide this really. I mean, unless you get a retainer, but you can't hide really a, a, a nose, but you can definitely hide a tongue piercing. You can get a clear one, or really now, like if I talk like this, you guys won't be able to tell me I had a tongue piercing. Like it's all about the angle. You have to like put your head down a little bit because then they won't be able to tell. But if you have your like head up here, yes, you can definitely tell. But it's all about the angle. And they can't see it. So if you're trying to hide from anybody, it's pretty easy to hide. But I always talk like this. So, <laughs> okay, the cons of a tongue piercing. So this is basically, I bet everyone came for just to hear like what's bad about getting a tongue piercing. Um, The cons are eating is sometimes a hassle I mean at first it's a hassle because you're getting used to it and when you first get it you have like a little lisp but it was good for me to pretend I had a lisp because I also have a retainer I wear at night but you clearly can tell I don't wear it all the time you have a lisp so you have to kind of get used to talking again because your tongue swells up a little bit but mine didn't really swell up you just have to just keep eating ice and stuff and drink cold stuff but eating sometimes when I eat now I bite on my tongue piercing it doesn't hurt it's just it's uncomfortable on your teeth like you know when you bite on something like I'm trying to think oh like if you have a piece of popcorn right and there's a hard kernel in there and you bite on it and it gives you like a stinging in your teeth that's what it feels like so basically you have to be really careful when you're eating well not really careful I mean I don't pay attention when I eat but it will get caught on your teeth sometimes and it doesn't feel nice but it doesn't hurt oh it's just a pain to change like if you're trying to change your tongue piercing you have to get a tissue you have to dry off your tongue drying the tongue and then it sometimes it's still slippery and you got to take it out and then I don't know mine looks like a taste bud like see how your tongues have taste buds like the whole you can barely see it anyway I mean at least mine it's hard for me I'm just like stabbing my tongue and it kind of hurts a little bit but maybe because mine's is still new I only got this like four months ago so that's probably why but it is kind of a pain to change but it's worth it another con is it getting caught so if you have a habit of putting things in your mouth like sometimes I'll chew on this like it'll get caught in this gum forget gum once you have this there's no going back <laughs> you will not be able to chew gum ever again because it just keeps getting caught and noodles pasta anything any everything gets caught and then you have to you're picking out like pasta pieces in your mouth <laughs> it's kind of nasty but that's why they say you're supposed to clean it after every meal because it will a lot of things will get caught in your mouth um another con is it closes up pretty quick so if you guys know if you take out your regular ear piercings you can leave them out for like a month I mean, the longest I left my ear piercings out was for like a month or two, so I don't know how long it takes to close up an ear piercing, but it takes forever, so it doesn't matter. You can take them out, get a break from it, but if you take your tongue piercing out, I heard it can close, start closing within an hour, so it's probably not the best idea. If you want a tongue piercing, make sure you want it, because if you take, you're not going to be able to take it out unless you want to get it re-pierced. So, and lastly, what they don't tell you about a tongue piercing, I mean, basically everything you find online it's going to be kind of true about a tongue piercing so like the hassles that it comes with um the pain i wouldn't like guarantee on the pain because it didn't hurt much for me and i have a very low pain tolerance like anything hurts so if i pinch myself right here like it hurts like someone can love tap me and like that will hurt needles forget about it i don't like needles but i'll, I'll take a needle on the tongue like i don't I don't get it, and even my mom said that. She was like, you don't like needles in your arm and you're getting your tongue here. But the one thing that they don't tell you that I've never seen online until I got my tongue piercing was that you're gonna get criticized for it. So no matter what, people are always gonna be like, oh, like you got that. Like you're, they're gonna think of you as being trashy. Some people believe you get a tongue piercing for a certain reason, which I'm not gonna state, but just know that there's always gonna be someone who's gonna think of you like, you have a tongue piercing like you're disgusting or you're trashy and stuff but just don't let it get in your way because you got it for a reason if you want it you get you can have it so I just don't listen to that I mean I've never got that criticism I have like once or twice but I was always like no I got it because I like it and I think it looks cool so 
and even that like some people don't even bother with they just a lot of people ask you like oh, you got a tongue piercing like a lot of people think it's cool but you will always get that one or two people that are like you know want to stick their nose up in the air at you so i'm just letting you know the truth of having it but besides the point it's easy to hide if you don't want it you could take it out really quick that's another thing so even if you can get it for a job or something you can always take it out so it's not going to be a big impact on your life but anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope this was pretty helpful for you. If you want to know about my cartilage piercing, then I can make a video on that too. But I just wanted to cover this because I do seem to be getting a, quite a few comments on it lately. So yeah, stay tuned for the next video, and thanks for watching.